It's one sign that the recovery continues in today's University of Hawaii Economic Research Organization report, or UHERO report. We're taking a look at the impact the twin disasters in Japan are having on Hawaii's market. And joining us this morning is Dr. Carl Bonham, Executive Director of UHERO. Uh, Dr. Bonham, good to have you with us this morning. Morning. Good to see you. So the new report comes out two months after the tsunami. How is this report, what is this report indicating about the, the effect on Hawaii's tourism industry? Well, basically the conclusion is that the effect of a significant drop-off in Japanese visitors won't overwhelm the recovery, and we're, we're actually expecting continued slow growth, uh, substantially slower growth than, than in 2010 when visitor arrivals were up almost 9% in the statewide. We're expecting growth overall of about 3% this year. So the, the Japanese downturn isn't going to derail the recovery in the tourism industry. That, that's certainly good news. There's growth, uh, as you mentioned, in the arrivals and spending, but there, there might be some segments of the industry that will see just a complete outright down, I, I guess, the negative decline in, in uh, business. Absolutely. In those. Yeah. I mean, anybody who's catering specifically to the Japanese market is seeing significant drops in their business right now. The, our forecast for the, for the overall year for Japanese arrivals is for a drop of 11%. And you know, we saw a very strong first quarter in, in Japanese visitors, even with the earthquake. But since the earthquake, passenger counts from Japan have been off about 25%. And what about the overall picture of the economy? We just heard about the jobs report uh, coming out today. Uh, the unemployment rate, though, rising to 9% um, since last month. Uh, what are we seeing in the overall local economy in your, in your eyes? Uh, our overall, for the, for the state economy, we expect continued slow growth. The jobs report for the U.S. as a whole today of over 240,000 jobs was a, was a good indication that the U.S. economy is continuing to grow. Uh, the uptick in unemployment is, is not a good thing. Those are two different surveys, so they can give you two different results. Is, uh, is we, that why we see, when, you, when they said employers added more than 200,000 jobs in the month of April, but the, the unemployment rises? How, how is that possible? So is the, that because so of the private versus public sector jobs? Uh, so, no, you, we're actually losing public sector jobs through, in, both, in both surveys. Um, so one survey is a survey of businesses, uh, mostly large businesses. The other survey is a survey of households. And so you can get different results. The household survey tends to, to focus, uh, includes smaller businesses. Uh, it doesn't just include, say, for example, a, a Macy's. Um, and so you can get different answers in the two reports. It's not uncommon. All right. Well, Dr. Carl Bonham, always an uh, insightful uh, look into what's happening in our economy. We thank you for that. And don't forget, you can watch this interview again on our website by heading over to KITV.com slash 